Hey guys, it's Coach James. We're gonna go over today's workout. So what we're gonna knock out to start is we're gonna work on getting our single leg glute position. So we're gonna work on having a leg extended this time instead of having a knee to our chest. So last time I was with you, we went over single leg glute bridges and brought the knee in. Now we're gonna stretch the knee out into a straight leg position, which is gonna require a lot more core stability. So we'll hit that. Um, after we knock those out, we're going to knock out some more chops with a kettlebell, dumbbell, or a gallon of water, whatever you got. Okay, And then we're going to hit some three-point rows. So we're going to use a little bit of support. It could be a wall, a door, um, whatever you need to be able to brace. Okay, And then you could also use your own leg for support on a three-point row as well. So we'll touch on each of those. Okay, you're gonna hit all three of these exercises for 15 minutes, okay? If uh, you feel good about four sets of those two, you're welcome to uh, cut that, okay? So, going over our exercises, so single leg glute bridges, okay? So, what we're gonna work for is getting you to be able to get nice uh, glute bridge to start. So, glutes are engaged. You're gonna take a leg, straighten it out. Okay, you shouldn't feel like your hips are wobbling or twisting, okay? You're gonna squeeze, you're gonna bring it back, you're gonna re-squeeze, straighten, squeeze, straighten, okay? So you're gonna focus on getting a nice glute tuck in between when both feet are on the floor. You're gonna straighten that leg out without letting the hips move at all, okay? If you're getting a little hip twist, I'll give you a little trick for that, okay? So what you're gonna do, I'll do it pointing you, okay? You're gonna focus on whichever leg your glute is squeezing, okay? You're gonna push the opposite arm in. So when you get set up, if you bridge and straighten, you're gonna take right elbow into the ground, okay? That's gonna help this side glute and elbow, okay? So left glute, right elbow, okay? That'll square you up a little bit more and get your core and lat kicked in so that you feel a little bit more stable, okay? So work on creating those um, nice level hips while marching the leg out, okay? If that feels easy, you can move your heels a little farther away from you, okay? Shoot for 10 on each side if you can get those, okay? So once we get those in, we're gonna work a little bit more obliques, okay? So we're gonna set up a nice half kneeling position. So again, looks very much the same, okay? You're squeezing one butt cheek, okay? You're gonna bring the weight down to your chest, press it up, okay? Exact same way you would grab some groceries, put them in the cabinet, or even um, another one to think about would be um, putting a bag, like a heavy bag on, uh, on a plane, if we ever get back on those, taking the, a suitcase, putting it up into the top compartment. You need to have a strong core and uh, some nice solid stability to be able to do that without getting your back wrenched in. I've had at least a couple clients tweak their back, putting their bag up on an airplane. So that could be a way to think about improving that. Okay. So three point rows. Okay. So taking your dumbbell or kettlebell. Okay. Create a little bit of support. Okay. You can square up the hips okay, and work on pulling to your body. Okay. So you should be able to make a nice 90 degree angle. Okay. If you don't have anything you want to use for support, okay, you can get a little bigger angle. I like to take this foot and cut it in half and move it out to the side. So take half a foot back, square up, pro provide a little bit of tension here, okay, and pull. Okay, same thing on the other side. Cut your foot in half, set up, and do a little bit of a squat with more weight on this leg. Pull. Okay, shoot for 10 or 12 on each arm. Okay, so if you have a lighter weight than you uh, would like, maybe bump up to 15. If it's a little heavier, do a few lifts. Okay, you just gotta work with what you got. So you're gonna hit pause there. Okay. You're going to work on those for 15 minutes or four rounds or so, okay? 
um, glute bridge, marching with that leg straight, okay? Shoot for down each leg if you can. Chops, five or six on each side, switch the legs, okay? And then three point rows, make sure you hit both arms, okay? Eight to 15 is a great rep range, okay? Hit pause, come right back. <clears throat> so, next round we're gonna hit some pressing with a band, okay? So you take your band, have your attachment, okay? You can set up, okay? Work on punching through, okay? So, if you have your right butt squeezed, okay? Band's in the right hand. So press, okay? Walk that band out to create more tension if you need to, okay? After you get presses, we're gonna hit reverse crunches, okay? So you can use a kettle, excuse me, kettlebell. You can use a chair, a couch, a uh, solid object if you need to for reverse lunges, or uh, reverse crunches, excuse me. If, okay, you have had some back problems or your back's feeling grumpy today because we've all been sitting on the couch, leave those guys out if it feels grumpy moving into it, okay? Just do some um, dead bugs holding on to the kettlebell above your head, okay? Be nice to yourself right now, okay? No sense in making anything worse, okay? So, two variations. Just the regular dead bug, you hold, okay? Legs are up, breathing into your core, okay? Squeeze that kettlebell, okay? If you want to stretch the legs out, okay? Same thing, okay? Work on keeping the core. So, dead bug for stability or grumpy backs right now. Reverse crunch. And yes, some of you are probably looking at me and be like, does it really need to be that slow? Yes, it does, okay? You shouldn't be kicking your legs above your head. It should be a controlled curl. Thighs coming to the belly button, to the chest, knees come up to the elbows and ears area, okay? It shouldn't look like you're flailing your legs up, okay? Slow it down, control it, take your time, okay? Anywhere from five to 10 of those. Work them until you feel a little bit of core going, okay? If it seems like a bit much, just hit some comfortable dead bugs, okay? Movement creates healing, okay? If your back feels grumpy, don't overdo it, okay? Because that's going to make it grumpier, all right? So lateral lunges, okay? We touched on these last time um, I was with you. So a couple options, okay? If you need some support, you can pull onto a chair, a band, okay? Anything that you need that can provide a little bit of support for you, okay? Otherwise, work on working yourself down, Back up, hands out in front. It's gonna be a nice counterbalance, okay? You can add a weight, okay, as you work down, okay? Work down as far as you feel comfortable, okay? If you get a little tight hips in here, you can switch that hand, okay, to the side you're going to. So left hand, right foot, okay? That usually helps free up this hip a tiny bit if you're a little tight there, okay? So, Shoot for eight to 10 lunges, okay? So we have band press, okay? Stagger your stance, right butt is engaged, right hand's punching, okay? So reverse crunches or dead bugs, okay? Again, you know, your call, but try to be uh, gentle with yourself. Uh, make the smart call there on reverse crunches or dead bugs, okay? Reverse crunches, five to 10 dead bugs, five or six on each leg, okay? And then lateral lunges, okay, depending on what kind of load you're working with. Um, anywhere from eight to 10 good reps on each leg, okay? Hit pause, hit that for 15 minutes, and uh, pop right back. All right, so finisher, okay? We're gonna do a little arm farm workout here, so you're gonna get a lot of arms involved in this, okay? So what I want you to do, okay, is whatever surface, a chair, a side of a chair, your steps, uh, a bench, um, 
whatever you need, okay, you're gonna do push-ups, okay? You're gonna do as many good push-ups as you can, okay, up to 20, okay? So that's a little higher than we normally would go, okay? So, I'm gonna use these for my example, okay? So, once you hit up to 20 push-ups, depending on your surface, if you're on the floor, feel free to do push-ups on the floor for up to 20, okay? So you're set up, okay? Up 20, yada, 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 okay? What you're gonna do after that, okay, is you're gonna take a band, okay? You're gonna lay on your back, okay? If you have an attachment on the ceiling or up high, you can do this standing up, um, but it might be a nice break to do it laying down as well, okay? So, you're gonna take your band, okay? You're gonna tuck your back pockets and squeeze your butt a little bit, okay? You're gonna bring your hands here, and you're gonna punch down to your knees. Same thing, okay? You're gonna get up to 20 with whatever band you're using, okay? If you've got a light band, okay, 20 should be good. If you've got a medium-sized band, it might be a challenge. If you've got a hard one, maybe you'll end up with 10 or 12, okay? But you're gonna do what is gonna be a lot of tricep, okay? You're gonna go right back to push-ups. If you um, get smoked on push-ups, you might need to elevate your surface, okay? So if you need a little higher incline, like the back of your couch, um, do that. But let's try to get three or four rounds, okay? Max push-ups up to 20, okay? Triceps of the band for 20, okay? You're gonna get a lot of arms and shoulders, okay? Um, some of you guys are gonna come back like the Hulk afterwards, so. Knock those out, three or four good rounds of arm work, okay? It's gonna be pretty intense with the push-ups, so. Let us know if you have any questions, and good luck.